it looks like we got a fist bump, so it looks like the game's about to start. Uh, yep, Paul Tina and... What's coming out against the good old Paulu? Good old reliable. Steve! <laughs> oh, Steve. All right, let's see how... I uh, love Steve. Steve! Steve! Let's go. Fighter Pass 2. Win hashtag ban Steve. Hashtag please. <laughs> and we're starting on PS2. I think this is the fourth time we've seen PS2 being good as the first uh, starter. Nair. Nair. Yeah, Nair train. Order. Up to the corner. Right now, he's trying to get less pressure on him, but he rolled past that down tilt. And Tito is just kind of sitting in the corner right now, getting those resources. But coming out the gate with a solid few conversions, trying to back Tito up off of them. And uh, I'm noticing Jules kind of wants to scrap with the Steve right now. Yeah. Okay. Shielding the back air. Nice jump over cart. Ooh. Yeah, he has, you know, classic Steve building his defense. You know, no one approached my zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the whole thing with Steve is that he is a resource character. So you would do well to keep in mind that gauge that he has down there. Because Steve has to get the iron that eventually just builds up to the diamonds. See, I don't know well, I don't know if Tito knows this, but like, I would never start... Oh, well, the, the yeah, you can't trap. be jumping yeah. there. Cannot be jumping there. Uh, anytime you see TNT, hit, you see Steve out above the TNT, just just try to avoid it because he can just air dodge past the hitbox. Crazy setup. Um, again, I would not start on PS2 against Steve because when Steve mines on the stage, he actually gets more metal metal items than wooden items. So believe it or not, against Steve, like the, he, he plays on a different thing on what stage he goes to. I would avoid PS2 because he, he mostly crafts metal stuff. Yep, it is definitely one of those Steve favored stages small battlefield definitely you know, more solid small. choice to go to as well yes small battlefield fd and battlefield i think they have a neutral like has like a neutral order of getting items um splashville and town city actually give them mostly wooden items so if you have a chance to take steve and gets the second stock that was pretty good dash stack you should probably go to smashville or town city because he has a mind more to get good items but most teams will ban that stage so just something to keep in mind if you guys don't know about that yeah, and Tito trying to get two solid Nair trains going with the like back that. air. Mm -hmm. Not really teching off the own block and still getting kept at the ledge over here. Trying to block their way on down. Tito is Ooh. just still trying I, to convert off these blocks. Yeah, I really I like it. it. This is like the entire string with him like just keeping him at ledge. So Tito right now doing pretty well. Like, just keeping the character at ledge. Oh, air dodging. He air dodges a lot out of the hits. So hopefully Tito can pick that up and do a hard punish after an air dodge. Yeah, and Tito is trying to just find the stock right now with the dash attack. You really see it right now. And Jules is just kind of just avoiding everything. She's getting him back off him. And cannot be committing with that grab, though. Oh. Oh. DBZ? Uh, no, well, not for Tito. He lost the battle and that DBZ, so... Minecart with, uh, with the redstone is just not... It's just a, reckon, a force to be reckoned with. 53 from two hits. Or like, at least... Well, sort of, but yeah. <laughs> All right, back throw's not going to do it, but now he has less control, so let's see how he's going to take this stock, and the just back throw just simply A second back throw definitely yeah. will do it. Jules kind of just has to wall out Tito right now, build up those resources, but who cares when you got the tools to scrap with that solid, solid frame data? Good jump out of the nair. Uh, he didn't air dodge this time. Yeah, and really good catch on that minecart. Get him real lazy with those. Oh, was that on purpose? Quite... I think that was, was that on purpose or was that a mess up? Like That was on purpose. That was crazy. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Pressure with forward air, like reading their option out of shield and just grabbing him then. Yeah, and I love the spacing on those nares too. And Tito is still trying to catch all these minecarts. That one just not working out. And, uh... Jules, she is setting up shop right now, just trying to get those diamonds and diamonds online. Here we go. Good, uh, good roll, avoiding the forward smash. Good back here, but this is just this is back and forth right now. Oh, good up to get the quickly back to ledge. If all Jules just has to do is just diamond pickaxe back here, auto cancel, whip that S smash <laughs> out, and just close out that game. Yeah, see, this forward smash is honestly a very I mean, everyone knows it's good, but I, st I still think it's unrated. It has range, and he steps forward, too. So, Peeves just 
That's a good smash attack with, with diamond. It's just crazy. And then with gold, it's, it's really even good. Faster. You can just whip it out as fast as you can. And yeah, and then it has good shield stun too. So like a lot of characters can't really punish and it that does well. A lot of damage. That was yeah. That was that was pretty cool. I, I liked how Tito's using the blocks to kind of like do a setup. And then there he goes. He was too close to the cart, which made him also get hit. Had he been like just spaced a little bit further, he probably would have hit Steve out of the cart before the hit before the cart could hit him, or just at least a little bit higher. But I know Tito sees it coming, but. He does not quite, he does, oh, kind of just doesn't have the that. timing See, on those backers. Like, I can't tell if that was on purpose or by accident. Oh, no, 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 look, no, no, Jules, Jules panicked, so that was definitely on accident. But she got lucky and ended up grabbing the ledge afterwards, so. Yeah, now, was, with Politana Steve, I, this is a I very. I see that again. This, this, this move is just not right, man. Why is it? No, no time for that. There's oh, no time for that. Next game. Politana Steve is a very interesting matchup. I kind of want to say it's a little bit Palu uh, favored. Because we've seen a lot of Palus kind of just win games over Steve's, kind of just dominate them. But I know it's mostly towards the even side. Because Palu has just a really good move to kind of just destroy their walls with the back airs and just kind of snipe them out from the minecarts. Especially their counters as well, kind of reflecting minecarts as well. Okay. The Jules is getting their combos in right now, so it's. I mean, the good thing is Tito is keeping up with it and just de doing blink damage also back to the person. And Tito breaking down these walls and just trying to come on in. But Jules is saying no with that fishing rod. Just chucking him on back right now. The mining process is beginning right now. But Tito is still just breaking down these walls and coming right on in. Good, good weight. Doing that out of shield to cover the... Uh... Oh, that was a risky air dodge, but looks like Jules wasn't ready for it. So and We got that option coverage out here. Steve with T and T at the ledge is very interesting because they can mine resources and it's a free edge guard at the very same yeah. time. Much so like that back the, air. Really no ledge roll. Again, Paul Tana's up B is very bad at ledge. She has six frames before she actually goes into her two frame, which is why it's easy to punish Paul Tana's grab at the ledge. Jules being aware of that dropping down a stone to hit her out of the uh, up B. And Jules not really finding these conversions off their starters right now. And Tito is just still clapping back with these dash attacks, calling them out. But you cannot be air dodging in that spot like that. Let me take Tito with a solid forward throw in the corner right now. About to begin that Palu ledge trapping in question, but Jules is still making quick work of this stock right here. Setting up at the ledge, trying to two frame with the flint and steel, but it is not quite That's working it. out. Yeah, punishing that easy dash attack with the uh, back throw off of a grab. And right now, it's it looks like it's Jules right now is just kind of in the lead. But if Tito can just get a string going, this could be even out again. And things are super scary right now because Jules has diamond. She has a lot of iron in the back pocket, especially with that gold ingot. So you can be expecting. A lot of things like that. The diamond pickaxe just taking out your stocks and burst option gold minecarts. You notice that when when Steve was mining, you can see like they're just grabbing a lot of a lot of steel. Um, so again, I don't know. I, 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 Tito probably doesn't know about the the, the stage counter picks for Steve. To be fair, he does mine more slowly on the stage. Does he? Yes. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh my That's god. That's it. Yeah, just just do it. Ring the landing and just doing it. Force match being out, popping the four there too. I was like game one was um, it was evenish, but I think game two Jules just had a better understanding of what Tito was trying to do the entire time. So, yeah, and Tito just could not play up to that pace. Yeah. But I know in game one Tito Tito knew what to do. I saw that he was going for the back airs for the minecarts in the right places, playing really good against the walls and just going into Jules's space. But Jules just had the the leg up on him. Yeah, just <laughs> Steve's back here is just insane with diamond. And think and see what uh, Tito DI'd in too, so you're going to die off the top. If I were him, I would DI down on a way to just try to see if you can survive that. But Ooh, On that last one right there, uh, Tito threw out a fair and he hit the crafting table, which crafting table kind of extends the, hip, or yeah. the duration of your moves. So he just got completely stuck there. Yeah.